Hi everyone, my name is Holly and I'm the Social Account Manager for Tug Agency. At Tug we've been thinking about um, the latest tech and social and the latest platforms that have come to light. Um, so we've put together this list which we're calling the Social Innovation List to make sure that we're on top of all those new platforms and the new tech um, and thinking about the advertising opportunity that comes with them. So I'm going to take you through our Social Innovation List and you can look to make sure that you're on top of all these emerging platforms and tech trends too. So the first one I'm going to start with is augmented reality filters. You've probably seen these um, when using Instagram stories. So they became super popular this year. So they're basically computer generated effects that layer over real life images. And um, so AR filters combine real, the real and the virtual world. And so they've really popular, popularly been used for creating um, filters like what Disney character are you and that type of thing. Um, so, the great thing about AR filters is that they're immersive and audiences love immersive social media. Um, they're fun and they're interactive and they're also the type of content that people want to share. Um, so it's a really easy win if you're looking to create content that people want to share. Um, one of our clients has actually done something really clever with augmented reality filters lately and used them to drive action. So um, for example, They've thought about the way that people use social media and although they still push petitions on uh, through their social content, they've actually started to think about, well, if we create filters and we can show that this many people uh, took action by uh, uploading this filter and sharing on social media, that's a really great way to combine the way that people are using social with kind of social activism. Um, so they actually offer some really, really cool ways to create content and show that people are engaged and they're taking action for certain causes. And then brands have also used um, AR filters in a branded way. So they're really, really cool because they allow you to lay interactive designs and other branded visual elements when taking a photo and video or stories mode. Gucci actually did a really cool branded AR filter on Snapchat. So they let you try on their new Gucci shoes um, and you could actually like physically put them on your feet. So it's a great way to drive um, sales of a product. And we're starting to see now that a lot of social channels are shoppable. So um, soon and on some channels at like Instagram, you are able to actually make the purchase within the platform. Um, so what was amazing about the Gucci campaign was you could try on the Gucci trainers and then you could actually click through all within Snapchat, and make the purchase. Um, so it's so cool because you don't have to go in store to try the product on. Um, you can see what it looks like and then you can buy it all within the same app. And that's amazing because Social people who use social can be lazy and they don't necessarily want to come out of the platform they're, they're in to make a purchase. Um, so it's just a really clever use of branded AR filters for e commerce. And then that lines up nicely with shoppable, shoppable Instagram ads. So, IG ad, shopping ads, let's use this tap the tag for more information about your brand's featured product and how to purchase it so they can be, be created for the feed, explore tab, and stories. Um, and again, as said before, it's just a great way to complete your purchase within the app. It's less time consuming um, and it's a great way to retain customers by allowing them to stay within one platform. So it's definitely worth if you have a content and creative team thinking about how you can work with your paid team to create content for Instagram shopping. So I think this is really interesting because COVID-19 changed the way brands engage their audiences on social. So people have more time on their hands and they wanted to engage with this fun kind of um, humorous content. And it's quite interesting how text heavy it is because we think of Instagram as a really visually aesthetic platform. But I think now we're actually starting to see an emergence in more text um, on images and text heavy content. And that's becoming more normal to us in the newsfeed. And that actually offers so much more opportunity or brand so um, this kind of like fun gaming content is, is likely to be on the rise and TikTok gamifies another example of this so the TikTok uh, gamified branded effect encourages TikTok users to interact with branded elements through facial expressions poses and other movements for a fun and competitive video shooting experience so I think this is really interesting because um, video content is going to become a really important focus for social platforms. It's fun, it's immersive, and it can be a really competitive experience too. Um, we've recently been reading 
social media trends to expect in 2021. And one of them was that we're going to see a blurred line between gaming and social media. So um, brands need to prepare for gaming content that's going to come to social and the opportunity that that will offer. And I think augmented reality and virtual reality um, will soon become really accessible through gaming on social. So Instagram Reels, so what are Reels? They're 15 second clips set to music. Um, they're basically TikToks. <laughs> so they can be shared in stories, the feed, or in the new Reels tab that Instagram has created. So why use Reels? TikTok's surging popularity has created an appetite for short form, informal, and entertaining video content. Um, Reels provide an opportunity to create dynamic content which shows your brand's personality and fits current user trends. And I think what's really interesting about this is that TikTok kind of showcased that we were moving away from this really visually aesthetic, pleasing content that we see on Instagram. I think um, we want to see more kind of fun, natural content that's not quite so rehearsed and posed. And Instagram is realizing that they may need to move in that direction too to keep up with competitors like TikTok and where essentially a younger audience already are and where their older audience are starting to go um, so I think reels is a really great way to make sure that you're staying on top of the latest trends and on top of the content that people want to see that kind of less rehearsed more natural style content um, and it's also a great way to raise brand awareness and work with influencers too so Twitch. So Twitch is a live streaming platform and it's mainly used for gaming. However, a growing number of streamers now focus on music, DIY, creative and lifestyle content. So recent studies have found that beauty has become a massive emerging trend on Twitch. Um, so beauty brands are engaging influencers to promote their product whilst they're live streaming their gaming. Um, so I think that's really, really interesting because, you know, we want to watch live content a lot more now, especially as a result of COVID-19. So if brands can integrate kind of that um, showcasing their product and promoting their products and engaging famous gamers and streamers to do that whilst they're gaming and their audience are engaged and watching, then that's a really, really cool opportunity. Um, additionally, we've seen uh, political figures like Alexandria Cortez join um, TikTok to take part in a live game stream um, and she actually in, was encouraging uh, Americans to to create a voting registration plan um, and she saw massive success from that so five million um, viewers and a huge increase in people going to the website to figure out their registration voting plan for the US elections so people are becoming more inventive with Twitch and recognizing its potential and that there's a huge audience there so there's 15 million daily active users, 44 billion minutes per month are spent watching streams, there's huge influence in marketing opportunities, unboxing, shout outs and giveaways. Um, and also the content that's required is very informal, so it's a less time consuming process in creating this really amazing um, and professional shot content, more of a focus on that kind of natural content that we're seeing emerge through the success of um, and it's also a great pl platform for reaching male audiences because 65% of the user base is male. Triller, so you may he have heard of Triller and you may not. Um, so Triller is TikTok's latest competitor. It's a video sharing app that allows users to vlog, make music videos and create video content. So there's now 120 million downloads and Triller offers very sophisticated editing tools and filters. So um, that's something that we're really starting to see audiences want now. It's not just about looking at content from brands, it's about they want to create their own content and they want social media platforms that allow them to create sophisticated content and have really great editing tools. Um, and also one of the trends we're looking at in 2021 is that brands are going to start mixing user-generated content and branded content because they're seeing that their um, audiences want their content featured on social more and they want to be behind the content um, so it'll be an interesting one to watch and see where the trailer takes off so looking um, at a more kind of customer service related tech so facebook messenger icebreaker ads so this feature offers users the op 
option to click on FAQs within the Messenger ad, e.g. Where your, where's your store located? And then the user receives an automated response. Um, so consumers say they want businesses to be available via messaging platforms. The icebreaker option increases the opportunity for brands to communicate directly with their consumers. And then stickers, so it's a really simple form of creative, but they've surged in popularity and they're great and they're used on Instagram stories. People are becoming more creative with their own stories and adding stickers um, to their video stories, adding them to their TikTok videos. Um, so it's a really nice opportunity here. Um, so why use them? Stickers of faces and facial expressions are a human touch and therefore resonate with audiences. So social users enjoy creating their own content and stickers can be used to add an exciting design element to their uh, content and what they share on social. A really nice example was um, Bodyform and their latest campaign. Um, they created stickers to complement that and people could actually download them and put them on their Instagram stories. So that was really, really cool. So there's an opportunity for brands. And then video pins on Pinterest. So video pins are eye-catching pins that allow brands to share more information about their brand or product. So video pins provide more information than still image pins. They have a cover image that captures your audience's attention when they play in the feed. So this is all about taking up um, the most space possible on mobile um, and that's going to drive the most engagement for audiences. The more of their uh, screen you can capture, the more of their attention you'll capture. Um, so using video pins allows brands to better capitalize upon the benefits of Pinterest, e.g. discovering new brands, searching for solutions and learning something new, um, which we know that audiences are very invested in when they go to Pinterest. They go there to learn, get inspiration. So we really want to kind of engage them and capture their attention there. So out of home web AR experience. So this is an interesting one. So web AR is an augmented reality experience that can be accessed through a web browser instead of an app. So this would be like, um, say there was a, an event happening in London um, and you went to that event and you scanned, for example, a vending machine with the camera in your phone. You could then, you would then be sent through to the website to purchase, say, a can of um, drink from that vending machine. And you wouldn't need to download an app to engage in that experience so it's really accessible for everyone um, and any all you need is a phone with connected internet to be able to do it um, so it's really 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 cool idea we've seen um, an example of Bon it's called Bon Vive uh, presented customers with a full 3D vending machine at different outdoor locations in California so there's interactive animations enabling customers to select and dispense their favorite flavor of Bon Vive um, entirely with a web-based augmented reality experience. And again, they didn't need to download an app or anything to take part. So it's really cool because it's low barrier to entry um, and it can include e-commerce options. So it's a great way to raise awareness of your product, but also get people to um, actually purchase your product. And then the final one to take a look at is panoramic image carousels. So this is a really simple form of creative that we've actually started doing for one of our clients. Um, and it's basically all you're doing is chopping an image in half um, and creating an inst Instagram carousel, which lets users swipe across to see kind of a really full picture. Um, so it's really immersive and it gives people um, a real kind of full view of an image. Um, for example, you can use it for panoramic landscapes and it's just really cool and it grabs attention in the newsfeed. Um, so, yeah, it, it's great for encouraging engagement and offering an immersive experience. Um, and I think we'll definitely start to see more brands using this. I know WWF are using this currently, Nat Geo are uh, using it in their work, and a lot of photographers, uh, wildlife and environmental photographers are using this, and they're seeing really strong engagement, and it's not a time-consuming thing to do. It's really simple, um, and it's, yeah, it's just a cool engagement hack. Cool. So that is the full presentation on innovative social ideas, platforms, the latest tech. Um, hopefully that's helpful and will give you some idea and thought behind the latest tech you can use and the opportunities that are actually out there right now. Um, we'll be doing more of these uh, videos. We'll be updating this deck with um, each new platform we see or new cool bit of tech that comes out. So subscribe to the Tug Agency YouTube channel and keep watching these videos for more information. Thank you.